When starting swivel maintenance, we first remove the reaction plate. You can use a simple hammer and a screwdriver to remove the keeper ring. Now using a screwdriver you can remove the retaining ring. If you have the optional hydraulic remote control, you will first have to remove the hydraulic swivel by removing its bolts and sliding it down before you can have access to the lower keeper ring holding on the flow ring. Next you want to remove the bolts holding on the lower keeper ring. The lower keeper ring is a split ring so you'll need a screwdriver to take off both sides and then slide down the wiper ring down to the hydraulic swivel. Now is the time to lower on the swivel polar tool. Make sure the top working nuts are evenly tightened on top of the plate. You only need four bolts to attach the tool to the flow ring in order to pull it from the body. Be sure to keep even pressure on both sides of the tool so as not to bind the ring on the body. Once the seals are past the top bearing race, you're now able to lift off the swivel. Once the swivel is off the body, it's time to inspect the seal areas. When checking the seals, you're making sure that the backup ring isn't extruded and that there's no marks, scuffs, or any other indentations on the main seal areas. Replace when necessary. For reassembly, refer to the swivel flow ring assembly video.